don't want to go through the fire. You don't want to go through the fire, but we have to go through the fire. And I absolutely am convinced that in 2020, Satan has asked to sift the church. There has been a shaking that is going on right now in the church. Now, do, do I believe that every trial that comes our way is, is a sifting? No, 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 no. Don't misunderstand that. Every trial that comes your way is not God allowing Satan to sift you. But God will allow certain seasons and certain times in your life when you're becoming complacent or when you're drifting or when you're not really locked in. He'll allow a sifting to come in and take place because he wants to strengthen your faith. And here's the thing, I want you to write this down. Five minute faith won't get it done. Five minute faith won't get it done. Here's what you need, two things. You need the presence and you need the power of God. You need the presence and you need the power of God. Those who make it through this season, those who come out the other side of this stronger, those who come out of the other side of this with purpose and with vision and, and, and strengthened and, and passionate about God are gonna be those who've experienced the presence and power of God. Now, when I say that, you say, Brad, I, okay, how do I experience the presence and power of God? Okay, you ready? It's revolutionary. It's huge. You may wanna get a pen. You might wanna write it. You wanna, wanna after this service, you wanna back it up and, and, and rewatch this part of it because this is, this is revolutionary what I'm about to tell you. Read the Word. Read the Bible. Get in the Word of God. This is why we have a daily devotion every day. This past week as a church, we were all in, in a version reading plan. If you don't get our email updates, you got to get our email updates. Check out social media. You'll see every week as a church. This week, we're going to be going through a devotional together, talking about faith. Get in the Word every day. Okay, you ready? The second revolutionary thing? pray. I know, I know you're glad. You're, you're like, man, I'm glad I'm watching online. I can't. Wow. What else you got for me, Brad? This is amazing. Read my Bible and pray. What, what next thing you do, you want to tell me to go to church. I am going to tell you to go to church. I am going to tell you to be a part of the church because you need the word, you need prayer and you need God's people. Some of you have been isolated during this entire pandemic and you're feeling it. You're not just feeling it emotionally, but you're feeling it spiritually. Like God is feeling more and more distant. That's why I believe we've got to endure because we're separated from one another and we can't be with one another. But I'm telling you, you got to find a way to be around God's people. You got to find a way every week. Say, I'm, I'm going to carve out some time. I'm going to get online. I'm going to press in because the all the people of Core Church are all collectively together. We're all moving in the same direction. So in, the, in verse seven, the second part of it, Peter says this, when your faith remains strong through many trials, somebody turn to somebody and say, stay strong. When your faith remains strong through many trials, it will bring you much praise and glory and honor on the day when Jesus Christ is revealed to the whole world. In other words, there's coming a day when those who have been humbled will be exalted. That, that those trials that have, have just obliterated things in your life where you, you feel so low, you feel so distraught, you feel so discouraged that God says there's coming a day when I'm gonna lift you up, that these trials will end. But until that day, you have got to fight for your faith. You need to remain strong through every trial.